Several viewers ask this question, is Ethiopia on the verge of disintegration? Are we going to see breakup of Ethiopia? Is Ethiopia going to split into several countries? I thought of having a detailed look at these questions because these questions have been asked several times, especially in live chat sessions. Uh, firstly, let me compare today's Ethiopia and 2018's Ethiopia. Two years ago, Ethiopia was mediating between Eritrea and Djibouti, between Kenya and Somalia, between Eritrea and Somalia, between several factions of South Sudan. Ethiopia was negotiating uh, a peace deal with Eritrea. So that was happening two years ago when Abiy Ahmed took office. After he took office, he started reforms and he made peace with Eritrea. Ethiopia was emerging as uh, an exemplary state on the path of reforms in the Horn of Africa. What happened after that? Abi made two mistakes. It was first mistake he made about Tigray war and second mistake he is about to make in the coming days. Abi and TPLF had very different ideas about how to rule Ethiopia. TPLF wanted a federation created along ethnic lines in which TPLF had lion's share, which TPLF has been having since 1995. Abi wanted a centralized system of government with central government in command. And when Abi tried to move towards this centralized government system, TPLF was sidelined. TPLF resorted to revolt, I would say. TPLF rejected uh, all initiatives, all uh, proposals of Ethiopian federal government. And TPLF held elections against uh, the advice of Ethiopian federal government. So differences were political about differences were about how to govern Ethiopia. What would be the system of government in Ethiopia? So the differences between uh, Abiy Ahmed federal government and Tigray government were administration and government related. But unfortunately, Abiy Ahmed tried to solve these problems through military means. He launched a military offensive into Tigray. It was a fatal mistake. It weakened Ethiopia. It turned Ethiopia from a regional influential player into a fragile state on the verge of collapse as is being said by some analysts. Second mistake he is about to make, that is conducting of elections. He wants to hold elections while one region uh, is totally destabilized, Tigray. The party which represents largest ethnic group in Ethiopia, Oromos, has boycotted these elections. Main Oromo leaders, Jawar Muhammad, Bekle Garbar behind the bars. Leader of OLF, Daud Ipsa, is under house arrest. In these circumstances, he wants to hold next elections. International community is calling for electoral reforms. It's calling for the postponement of elections. But Abiy Ahmed wants to conduct elections because atmosphere of political instability suits him. So he is about to make the second fatal mistake which is leading to this discussion that Ethiopia is on the verge of a collapse. Now coming back to main question, is Ethiopia on the verge of disintegration? 
we cannot say that Ethiopia is going to split into pieces uh, in coming days. Because there are 80 ethnic groups in Ethiopia. You cannot divide Ethiopia along ethnic lines. You cannot create 80 countries uh, in, in Ethiopia. So each ethnic group has grievances. Uh, you know, Kemant do not want to live in Amhara state. They have their grievances. Kuros, Kafas and several other ethnic groups, they have been struggling for regional autonomy. They have been struggling against the dominance of main groups, main ethnic groups like Amharas, Tigrayans and Romos. So not all groups uh, have been satisfied with uh, ethnic federalism adopted by uh, TPLF-led uh, EPRDF. In my view, viewers, Ethiopia is not on the verge of collapse. It's not on the verge of disintegration. Uh, it still has a functioning government. It still has uh, a military which can hold it together. Ethiopia is on the verge of the start of increased internal conflicts. It's on the verge of the start of a civil war. That could happen if elections are held, OFC, OLF, TPLF uh, remain outside and elections are held. We could see increased internal tension in Ethiopia. We could see some civil war as well but it's not that ethiopia is inching closer to disintegration uh, ethiopia has seen the experiment of ethnic federalism from 1995 till 2018 views tplf led ep uh, rdf ethiopian people revolutionary democratic front ruled this country Oromos, Amharas and Tigrayans, mainly Tigrayans were ruling Ethiopia back then viewers. But even then smaller ethnic groups, they had grievances and they were complaining that they were being sidelined by major ethnic groups. Abi Ahmed tried centralized government but this experiment is not working as well. Ethiopia needs to find a new way of government in between ethnic federalism and centralized system. That can only be done by having all stakeholders on board, by having inclusive political dialogue, not by conducting elections with main parties by courting it. I think fortune.